Hello, this will be a short update. I've previously mentioned this board, but I forgot to show you something. This Liligo T4 have built-in SD card reader. Alongside its high resolution and sharp AMOLED display, this device can serve as a nice digital photo frame or cute expensive one <laughs> photo frame. The code is really simple and um, short. I'll explain it uh, to you in a moment. And what the code does is even simpler. Images are stored on the SD card and every few seconds another image is displayed on the screen. It is important to note that all images are sized to match the screen resolution which is in this case 600 by 450 unfortunately my camera probably can't capture the beauty of this this is a really sharp display i wanted to show you how to do this using simple library today many boards have built-in sd card reader many Liligo boards like this T Display Pro or this T RGB and many M5 stack boards also like this one or card computer or M5 stack core 2, core 3. Alongside the code, I will also share this bin file, which is basically this example that can easily be uploaded to the board using the expressive browser based flasher. So you don't need to touch the Arduino ID if you don't want. Some of you still have problems with the installation of this board. Let's check the code. So, library which will decode JPEGs is here. So in the folder there are only two files Arduino INO file and this library which can be found here but I will, you can find it on my GitHub repository So here we don't need to touch anything Our code is here and it is pretty simple and short First we need few libraries, then we need few objects and few variables. This vari variable will store number of our files in uh, SD card. Keep in mind that uh, right now this code can show only 150 images. If you want more, you can change this number. So we have few functions, setup function which will begin serial communication, it will begin AMOLED display, it will install SD card, set some kind of lower brightness, Ma maximum brightness here is 225 and we have list directory function which will read everything in the root of a SD card. It will open each file and it will store name of that file in this string name variable. Also with each name it will increment this variable which contains number of file in root folder of SD card and we have loop function loop function which will call jpeg draw function which that function belongs to this header file and then that function have callback function which is here so basically function will read pixels of JPEG and it will copy those pixels to my sprite.
and after our pixels are, are copied in our buffer or sprite it will push push those sprite to our screen variable number will go from 0 to number of our files so each cycle different image will be shown and if number is equal to number of files it will start from 1 and it will wait for seconds if you want to show every image longer just for example increase number here so now each image will be shown six seconds actually it will it will be show second or two more because it takes time to to this function to copy to decode the jpeg uh, file and to copy all pixels into sprite I hope this will be helpful this is simple project but I I had the feeling that um, many people have problem with this and this way on this simple example you can learn how to use SD card files how to use images to backgrounds to your user interfaces or similar this can be used for nice clock with your own custom images with images of your kids family or I don't know um, if you learn something and if this is helpful uh, and if you want to support my work you can link you have links in the description you can be my patreon supporter on you or you can buy me coffee or you can watch a few of mine videos also it also helps uh, many of you still have I got lots of email lately and it is hard to answer all the mails I'm very sorry I am trying many of you still have problems with AMOLED boards so on uh, LilyGo GitHub there are still some um, there are nice instruction how to install this using a library manager but you will probably uh, find the problem when you use this way of installation LVGL Arduino IDE will install latest version or LVGL library so code will not work so I still recommend to download all this repository and in this map you have all libraries so just copy all these folders after you extract from the file all these four folders in a library in your library folder of Arduino ID most uh, problems is here so lots of people are missing these files so that means that they don't have sensor library in their library folder thank you I hope you learn something this week uh, this week I will try to make another three minutes coding tutorial and like always uh, not like always I always want to know how many of you watch the whole video so please write something random like I don't know Write something in the comment. <laughs> Thank you. Goodbye.